Christy Morrow, Children's Librarian at the Beaumont Branch in the Lexington Public Library System. And this is Kelly Lamb, uh, also a Children's Librarian at the Beaumont Branch uh, for the Lexington System. And today we're here to talk to you about the six reading readiness skills. We're going to briefly discuss each skill with you and talk about ways that you can foster that skill with your child. We'll also be giving you book suggestions that you can use at home that highlight each skill. The first skill we're going to discuss is print motivation. Print motivation refers to a child's interest in and enjoyment of books and reading. A child developing strong print motivation skills enjoys being read to, will play with books, will pretend to write, ask to be read to, and enjoys trips to the library. Print motivation involves positive experiences with books and encourages children to be more motivated to seek out more books and reading experiences. Children developing print motivation want to hear the story again and again, and again and again. Children developing print motivation ask questions. How do you read? How do you write? They pretend to write and want to learn to write their own names. They are eager to see their names in print, whether you write them or they write them. With print motivation, you want to let your child know how much you enjoy reading, especially reading with your child. Read all types of books, but let your child's interests guide your choices. Remind your child that they will someday know how to read books all by themselves. Make sure they see you read in your spare time. Children with print motivation are eager to read. When they come across problems or difficulties reading, they're more likely to succeed when they have good print motivation. You want to actively involve your child with the book. Use books that have a repeated rhyme or phrase that they can become involved in. You first want to start with print motivation with your baby. Surround your baby with books. Make sure they can chew on them. Strong board books for baby-sized hands are perfect for this, and it's normal to chew on them. It's actually part of the way a baby's learning about books. Point to the pictures and talk about them. Relate them to your child's surroundings. Let your child choose most of the books you read. Let your child's interests guide you. Don't be afraid to stop reading a book that your child isn't enjoying. Give your child access to writing materials if possible. Create positive memories by sharing special books at certain times of the year. Read with expression and enthusiasm in your voice and use your body to emphasize action words or animal sounds, but be careful not to overdo it. The next skill we're going to discuss is vocabulary. Vocabulary refers to knowing the meanings of words, connecting words to things, events, or ideas in the world. Broadly, our vocabulary refers to the words we must know to communicate effectively. In general, a vocabulary has two parts. Oral vocabulary, words that we use to speak or recognize when listening, or reading vocabulary, words we recognize or use in print. As a child's vocabulary and word knowledge grow, they are also developing knowledge about the world they live in and an understanding of how the world works and what is in the world. It is important to know that babies usually begin babbling by six months old. Some babies say recognizable words by 12 months old. And research has shown by two years of age, a child learns approximately nine to 12 new words each day. Two and three year olds learn from actively being involved with language. It's best if they can have objects around that they can use and experience the words that they're learning. When children reach the ages of four and five, their real life experiences bring additional meaning to what they encounter in books. That intersection of the real world and the world of books allows vocabulary to grow at an even faster rate. Vocabulary growth is very important because children must know what words mean to understand what they are learning to read. When a very young child's vocabulary is growing, they may use a single word for all related objects. For instance, truck may be used for all vehicles, even bicycles. Children may also confuse a word for an object with a different word that sounds similar but has a completely different meaning. For example, sometimes they'll call it a cabin in the woods a cabinet. Children may combine two words together to create a word to describe a concept. For example, they might say last day instead of yesterday. Talk about the meanings of words you encounter as they come up in books or conversations. When you come across words that have two different meanings, talk about those. Young children don't need to understand that the words are spelled differently yet, 
but understanding that there are two meanings of to a word will enhance their understanding of words and the world. Model your own interest in words. Look up words in a dictionary and talk about your favorite words. Read both fiction and nonfiction books to enhance your child's understanding of the world, especially about interesting places or subjects like zoos and parks, firefighters and ballerinas, or dinosaurs and dogs. Encourage your child's interest by reading and looking at the pictures and asking questions like, what is that? What do you use that for? What does that mean? Another skill we'll discuss is print awareness. Print awareness refers to knowing how to use a book or a piece of writing, how to open and close the book, and how to hold the book. Print awareness also involves knowing that the symbols on the page are called letters, and when those letters are put together in a certain way, they are called words, and words have meaning. The series of words on the front of a book is the title, and pictures are done by an illustrator. A book has a front and back, a top and bottom, a beginning, a middle, and an end. We turn the pages of a book from right to left, but we read words from left to right. We start at the top of the page or paragraph when reading. We read the words in a book and we look at the pictures. Books and other written materials contain information and books have a purpose, a function. People use books and other written materials to help them in their daily lives. When children go to school understanding how print works, they are more likely to be ready to learn to read. Children developing print awareness may pretend to read. Beginning as early as 18 months of age, children will imitate the act of reading. Initially, they may hold the book upside down or turn the pages the wrong way. The child may use a different expressive reading voice while pretending to read. As they develop print awareness, children will learn to hold the book correctly, turn pages one at a time and in the right direction, and even run their fingers along the words as though they were reading it. Children may begin to recognize and read familiar signs in their neighborhood, such as stop signs. This is called environmental print. When children begin to notice environmental print, they may point out some printed words and then read them to you. A child may insist that he is reading the words correctly, even though you know that they may be saying something different. Always be positive and encouraging of the effort being made. Before reading a book, always show your child the cover. Point out and name the title and author's and illustrator's names on the cover. Occasionally run your finger along the text as you read to emphasize that you are reading the words printed there. With older children, start to read a book holding it upside down or try to read the book from back to front and see if they will correct you. To develop print awareness with your child, make sure that you read books that have topics that are of interest of your child. Some other things you can do, make a book with your child about topics that interest him. Read books that highlight print in the design of the layout or the type of the typeface. Read books that depict characters engaged in writing. Model how you use print in everyday life. Make sure that when you're writing, your child sees you writing. Make sure they know that when you're writing at the grocery list that that's part of print. Mm -hmm.